I've recently decided to start doing home workouts, and I thought a good way to do this would be to make a pull-up bar. So I bought some treated timber and an old pole from my uncle and started working. I had already started to dig the first hole. So, so far with this one hole, I've already nearly filled a wheelbarrow and got all these big rocks out. But um, the tools that I've been using are this big shovel. This big, I don't even know what it's called. You just lift it up and smash it into the ground. And then another little chisel, hammer, two little spades. The posts are three metres in length and I wanted the bar to be quite high so that my feet wouldn't hit the ground when doing a pull up. So I figured about 70 to 80 centimetres into the ground would keep the post steady but also quite high. I've just put the pole in again. And here's that mark that I was looking at, the bottom one, and that's um pretty much right where I want it. So I'm going to stop digging now, and um, yeah, go start on that other hole. So I've finished this hole now, so I think they're both pretty much the same size. So what I'm going to do now is stick both the poles in and make sure they're both level. They weren't quite exact, so I did a little more digging to get it perfect. After getting the same depth on both holes, I then went to drill a hole in each of the posts for the pole. So now I've got the tools I need to um, drill a hole through this wood so the pole can go through. So I've got my drill with a bit, ruler, battery, screwdriver to maybe like pull that middle bit out and a pencil. So thanks to my friend James, I actually figured out how to get this drill bit all the way through because it's quite small and the bit's quite thick but um you just gotta jam up a screwdriver down there and pop this wall bit out. Which I didn't even think of, but my friend James gave me that idea, so thank you. Now I just gotta get it out. For the second post, I put the pole through to help straighten it. A 
If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss similar content in the future. Cheers, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.